Welcome to the Seminoles.com Daily Report for Friday, August 14th. I'm Ryan Pincy. And yesterday morning, the Florida State football team went full pads for their 24 period practice in a morning that was dominated by the offense. Junior quarterback Christian Ponder connected on long passes with Jarman Fortson, Rodney Smith, and Taiwan Easterling, as well as tight end Cass Porowski. Porowski spoke after practice about the consistency that the offense has brought early in camp. The first day came all the bang. Uh, you know, since I've been here, it's, it's the best we've been on the first day, and I think as a whole, it's the best we've been together. Uh, and I think I think it shows how hard we worked over the summer, how hard uh, the young guys came in, and even the veterans came in and uh, really worked on the plays, learned the playbook, learned the uh, system, and uh, and it's definitely showing. Now. I think everyone has the right attitude. Uh, everyone, everyone's coming out there ready to work. Um, you know, it really hasn't been a day last year and the year before. You know, we'd be good for the day and the next day. You know, we're kind of up and down. You know, so far this year, the intensity's been there. Uh, we, we pretty much just been up every day. On the defensive side of the ball, Nigel Carr is a player whose motor is always running at 100 percent. Carr spoke yesterday about how he uses his intensity to motivate the entire defense. I just got to be the most in the lead. I mean, everybody know I got uh, like a lot of energy, so I just got to bring that out and try to give the other players that don't have as much as me, you know what I'm saying, let them know, let's go, crank it up. So, I mean, when I go out down and practice, I try to do the same thing, you know what I'm saying, just every day I try to stay focused and have everybody on the one goal. Practice resumes today at 2 p.m., and you can continue to follow all of the developments of fall practice on Seminoles.com at our Practice Central page free photo galleries, video recaps, and full video interviews in all access. Terry Horner was in action yesterday in the finals of the one meter springboard, the U.S. National Diving Championships here in Tallahassee. He finished second in the event and credits his high level of confidence from competing in this event last year. Just over the last, you know, couple of months, my I, I've been coming a lot more confident with my diving and my ability to dive and my ability to compete. And you know, I I think I proved it here. You know, I, I went out there, gave it everything I had. I mean, I did some great dives today. Horner will be back in action at the Morgan Aquatic Center on Saturday. Tickets for the event are still available. And finally today, the FSU women's soccer team welcomes the Georgia Bulldogs this evening for the first exhibition match of the season. Junior Amanda DaCosta is looking forward to the preseason challenge. I've played them a lot, especially since I've been a freshman in the spring, not really in the fall, but they've always been a solid team. They they go hard, so I think that's going to be good for us. It'll be exciting. Uh, good. To, we've been playing against ourselves so much um, throughout the last week. It'll be good to see what we have against another opponent. That's all for today's Seminoles.com Daily Report. Check Seminoles.com throughout the weekend for coverage of Saturday's football scrimmage. We'll see you back here on Monday.